Hi and welcome to the video training of JavaScript. In this video training, we'll be learning how to measure time taken by a function to execute. Sometimes we have to find out how long a JavaScript function takes to run. In this video, we will look at how to measure the time taken by a JavaScript function to run. Okay, the performance.now method. One way to measure the time taken by a JavaScript code to run is to use the performance.now method. It returns the timestamp of the current time in milliseconds. Therefore, to use it, we can write constant t equals performance.now. So let's go to our editor. And here I'm going to start the script tag because we are going to write JavaScript. And here we are going to define constant t equals zero equals performance dot now. And then we are going to execute a for loop. i is equal to zero. i is less than equal to thousand. And i plus plus. Okay. Here we are going to console dot log i and at the end we are going to define constants t1 equals performance dot now and at the end we are going to console dot log t1 minus t0 milliseconds. So Let's save this file JavaScript and here I'm going to call it my year execution and let's call it index.html and now let's run this file from here uh, home personal projects um, this JavaScript measurement double click this to run it in the browser and let's open the console and here you can see we have the results let's run it again so you see it took 116 milliseconds to execute 1000 console.log statements exactly 35 milliseconds sorry 35 point and all these are subsiding characters so it took around 35 milliseconds to execute we call performance dot now before and after running our code then we subtract the time after the code is run before the time before it's run to get the runtime of the code okay there is another way of uh, measuring the execution time of function using console.time and console.time end methods we can use the console.time method to start measuring the time it takes for a piece of code to run then we use the console.time end method to stop the measurement they both take a string as the argument that we can use as a diff as an identifier of what we are measuring so to start the measurement, we call console.time with a string identifier. And to end the measurement, we call console.time end when the same uh, string identifier that we use with the console.time. So for instance, we can write console.time loop. And at the end, we can say console.time end loop. So we just need to modify our program a little bit here console dot time loop and after the for loop we just need to say console dot time end and loop. After calling the time end, we should get the identifier string with the time between the console.time and console.time end method calls logged in milliseconds. We can measure the time it takes to run a piece of JavaScript with the performance interface or console methods. 
so let's save this file and run it in the browser and refresh you see this time we have the time difference and every time it's different sometimes it's 35 milliseconds sometimes 42 sometimes 47 so these are the two basic and main ways to measure the execution time of a function in javascript thanks for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel if you like this video you can reach me if you need any assistance i'll be more than happy to reply back Thank you.